fun. And of course, everybody wants to know, are you able to share with us the buyback pricing that you're anticipating right now? So as I can see here, it's 589 or 589. And people probably, it, people that know me for a long time know that I would try to do everything when it comes to, to the people for the people. So I would say that a more um, affordable price is definitely what uh, people should expect. And when it comes to, let's say, what people should expect after years and years and years, we're looking at a way more positive line that we've ever expected. So they should expect to be able to all join the ride. So very affordable price and exit at a way higher, way more, let's say, profitable rate. Now, you know, I'm going to poke you a little bit, <laughs> but when you mentioned that we want people to be able to come on the ride with us. So it sounds like even though this is a very, very wide gap, right? Two decimal points wide gap. Maybe it's before the buyback, it's closer to the 589-ish number. And then after the buyback, when everything's in the stellar system, it's closer to the 589 number. That would be pretty much it, yeah. Okay. Not exact numbers, so let's say not exactly 589 and stuff, but we're definitely going to see this kind of curve moving forward. So just as a general understanding of how may the graph look like. So basically, you know, without having any any representations on the screen, guys, it'll it'll have a nice little jump up from whatever it is now. I haven't checked, but it's always you know floating around the the half dollar to the one dollar mark in the last couple of years. So it'll be roughly there. It'll jump maybe roughly around five x or so, and then after the RV, when everything's in stellar, then we're gonna have a much better number later. You know, in the in the long term future. Okay, so to kind of go back to another old topic that we had discussed between you, myself, and some of the other developers, we also know that, um, actually, that was a, a different question. Let me let me do this question first. When you said earlier that we should be expecting a larger number, is that the peak that we're expecting? Or is that just a nice long-term goal to shoot for, but then let's say maybe in, um, I'm kind of jumping questions now, but maybe in like 2030 or 2040 and beyond, it could go beyond the 589 price point. So I would say that it definitely be, uh, it's not necessarily something that people should just expect in the long run. So I would say that people that even uh, have expectations for, let's say, uh, two years, let's say three years, one year, or even a couple months after everything happens would still be surprised by the results that they would get. And I would say that for people who think this is definitely only going to be a long-term thing, I would say that it would be something that people can have now and enjoy the, let's say, fruits of it much sooner than they would have expected from, let's say, our past conversations. Okay, thanks, Ben. And then, so that being said, I want to jump to this question because on the prior call,